Okay, so we have a solution of copper sulfate. Most copper two salt salts, um, including copper two sulfate, are this beautiful blue color. And we're going to try to do a galvanic displacement reaction with aluminum foil. Put the piece of aluminum in there. Swirl it around. And you can heat this up or wait all day. Nothing's going to happen. That's surprising because aluminum is more reactive than copper. So you should have a galvanic displacement reaction occurring. But we don't. Now we're going to add some sodium chloride salt, right? Table salt. Add that in there. Now we're going to swirl this together. So now we've waited just a few minutes, and you can see a clear reaction has taken place. We've got the deposition of a red metal, that's copper, on the surface of the aluminum. So the galvanic displacement reaction that we expected to occur has occurred, but only in the presence of sodium chloride. Why is that? Well, aluminum is so reactive that uh, it has a natural aluminum oxide layer on it. Um, and so this oxide layer prevents galvanic displacement from occurring when we don't have the sodium chloride. Chlorides, though, like sodium chloride, are able to etch a little bit of that alumina, aluminum oxide layer. And once you etch that aluminum oxide layer off, you expose the bare reactive aluminum metal, and you get the galvanic displacement reaction occurring. And we can shake this, and you actually see just pieces of this coppery, spongy metal coming off into solution.